Welcome to the channel everyone. If you're new, we hope you decide to subscribe before you go, but we are grateful that everybody is here. We have bred all kinds of guppies on this channel, and we've recently got into breeding Neocardinia shrimp. With this setup, we put together in a recent video. So we're breeding red, blue, yellow, In today's video, we're going to update you on a couple of modifications we've made to this setup. We've also moved it to a new location in the fish room. One of the big things that we'll do today is add a fourth bin to breed a brand new color of shrimp that we have just picked up. So with that guys, hopefully you go on to enjoy this video. Let's get out and pick up some supplies. and get these bins set up in the fish room on one of the shelving systems. These shelving systems are set up with electrical, aeration, lighting, everything needed and they fit four of these bins perfectly. And now to get into setting up the fourth bin for this new color of shrimp that we'll be breeding here in the fish room. The next step in getting this set up is we need to add a sponge filter. So we headed over to freshwaterscrub.com and used the code SHRIMP for 10% off our order for a new sponge filter. You can pick up a sponge filter, all kinds of aquatic plants, terrarium tools, etc. So make sure you check out freshwaterscrub.com. I have this rack system set up with aeration to every single shelf. There are four positions on each shelf that are controlled by a four-way gang valve. Now it's time to prepare water. I will be using RODI water and I will in fact be dechlorinating it. And I want to clarify why based on comments in my last video. The system I use is an Aquatic Life RO Buddy and without the installation of an additional filter cartridge, this system will only reduce the chlorine to prevent damage to the membrane and it will not remove the chloramine. This is why I choose to dechlorinate the water out of this RO system. If your system is set up with a cartridge specific to remove all chlorine and chloramine, then obviously dechlorination is not required. Now we need to add some substrate to this bin and what I'm going to be using is some planted substrate. And when I break down a planted tank, I always take the old substrate and keep it in a bucket to reuse. It's full of beneficial bacteria, nutrients, things of that nature. Recycling this substrate will cause the water to become extremely dirty and there's not really anything I can do to prevent that. The paper towel method doesn't work. It just is going to be dirty. So what we're going to do is fill this thing up and then we'll just have to sit and wait for it to settle. One of the items that I've added to these existing bins and I will be adding to this new bin is a 15 watt flat heater. In this volume of water, that'll keep the temperature right between 78 and 82 degrees. We're gonna grab some plants for this thing, but I can't help but look at this American bullfrog tadpole. We're gonna be adding some of this Amazon frog bit. We're gonna add a few java ferns. We're also going to be adding some hornwort. And definitely some Christmas moss. All of these plants are great aquatic plants for shrimp. And you can find all of these at freshwaterscrub.com. Now 
Now as far as the filtration goes, we're going to go ahead and take these sponges off of this sponge filter as they're not pre-cycled. Now there is beneficial bacteria that exist in this substrate, but we're going to go ahead and change out these sponges for some pre-cycled sponges, which will make this water safe for the immediate addition of these shrimp. All right, guys, well, we're looking down here at our new little shrimp. And what these are, these are called sun-kissed orange shrimp. And they're super cool, super colorful. I think they're going to look great in addition to these yellows, blues, and reds. They just got these things in stock. They didn't have them the other day when I, when I went in to get the other ones. So we're going to go ahead and get these guys in there today. So let's do that. And before we do this, I want you to know that these guys have been fully acclimated. Oh my gosh guys, do you see this? As I'm going through editing this footage, I find this clip here of this blue shrimp with an egg clutch under her tail. So you're gonna have to stay tuned and we're gonna have to see if we end up with babies. All right, guys, well, these are looking fantastic. We are well on our way to breeding shrimp here in the fish room. So make sure you stay tuned for this project and we will keep you guys updated on what's going on. But you saw that in the blue tank right here, we actually have a female who is egg bearing at this moment. So we're gonna see what's gonna happen there. And we'll come back to all these tanks later on and yeah, see what happens. But before we go, I wanna show you something real quick. If you did not see, my last video. So I have this fully planted tank here and I'm going to show you a different angle because the reflection is really bad. We had our poor little bed of fish that passed away that was in here. So I need some recommendations on what we put back in here. I've got this really cool little metallic betta as well as I have these sword tails that we could breed in here. So I need a recommendation on what you guys think we should put in there. Also look at our little terrarium. It's growing crazy. Look at this Carolina pony's foot that's in here and the little pink vein plant back there. The Moss is growing, everything looks fantastic in there. What a great little terrarium. Taking a look, here's our little axolotl, and I am in straight up need of a name for this dude. Such a cool, cool little axolotl. He is doing so well. Look at those big old pink gills, they are looking fantastic. So, my thought is, axolotl rose. You let me know. What do you think we should name this little guy? Looking over here, we are looking fantastic in this tank as well. There are some fish up here that I don't want you to see yet, so we're not gonna show you those, but all of our little mollies are looking good. There's one of our hill stream loaches, he is looking good. Oh, and there's another one, but everything in this tank is looking fantastic as well. And of course, here's our little puppy fish, and that is Fred, big head Fred, and watch big head Fred, he will totally bite your, oh, whoa, whoa, Fred, come on, dude, like he, Come on, man. Like, he will bite you, and it does not feel good, but he is such an amazing fish. My favorite fish ever right there, Fred. Thank you, Fred. We'll see you later, buddy. And of course, looking over here at the 300 gallon, look at the growth in this tank. Look at all of this jungle vow, and look at all of our hornwort growing in here, but everything is looking fantastic in here. Look at all the fish, everybody's looking good. So, make sure you visit freshwaterscrub.com and use the code SHRIMP for 10% off all your orders. But everybody in here is looking fantastic as well. And here's our little hamster, Carl, and he's doing so good. 
look at that. You just dropped some food in here for Carl. And there he is. Such a great little hamster. Love this little guy. All right, Carl. We'll see you later, buddy. All right, guys. Well, hopefully you went on to enjoy this video and you like this new color of shrimp. They are all doing fantastic. But with that, if you have not subscribed or turned on your notification bell, make sure you do that now. As well as follow us on Instagram as well as Facebook. Links to both are down below. And make sure you visit freshwaterscrub.com and use the code SHRIMP for 10% off all of your purchases. And with that, guys, we are truly grateful of all the support you guys give this channel. Thank you so very much. And hey, we will see you next time.